Right, today's job, I've got to put skating board around this room. Now, I've come to a, a corner that's not 90 degrees. The wall shoots off at roughly about 45 degrees. And I need to do an internal scribe to get over this angle. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is measure what this angle is. And I'll do that with a sliding bevel. So you just offer it up to the wall and get it against both walls and tighten up the screw. So there is the angle of that wall. It's roughly about 45 degrees. So a piece of skating board. I've already done the other angle. So now I need to measure it for length. Little tip for you as well. It's hard to get your tape measure on the end of that piece of skating board there. So what I tend to do is put it on the 100mm mark and then just add the 100mm the other end and that'll give you an accurate mark then. Okay, so I've got the length of the skating board. And then I need to cut that angle on it. Now if you can manage to tip your chop saw to that angle, happy days. If not, you're going to be cutting it by hand. So I've tipped the chop saw over now to suit the angle of the bevel. I'll just extend that line down with a square. Okay, so I'm happy with that piece. Now we've got to scribe the other piece over this one. Never do a mitre because it'll end up, the skating boards will shrink back and the gap will open up. So always scribe in an internal angle. I've got to scribe this piece over that piece. And the way we do that is that angle, divide it in two. And that gives us the cut that I've just done on there. Now because it's a 45 degree corner, that cut was about 22 and a half degrees. But we don't always know what the angle is. So I'll show you a good way of dividing the angle in two. Okay, so take any piece of board. This just happens to be the back of the skating board. And the bevel that we set up before, that is the shape of the wall. So draw the shape of the wall on the board. Okay, so that's our wall there. One wall, two walls. Then that line and that line, we want to bring in parallel. So just use any straight edge. I'm just using the spirit level. Okay, line it up with the back line and draw a parallel line to that. The same with this one. Just draw a parallel line. Okay, so where that point is and that point is. If we join them together, it 
like that. That has divided that angle now. So you could set your bevel again off that line and take it to the chop saw and set it up. So that is the angle I need to put on the end of the skating board in order to scribe it over the, the other piece of skating board. So I haven't already done that on this end. That's cut at that angle. Now I just need to cut along here and scribe there to fit over the other piece of skating board. If you look at the scribe though, it needs to follow the angle of this wall. So therefore we need to cut back cut it roughly that angle there. Just so it'll sit nicely against there. We have to back cut it quite a lot so it'll sit over the rest of the skirting. So again, set up your bevel against that wall. And then that will give give you the angle that you need to scribe it back to. And you can also mark it on the bottom of the skirting board as well. Just so you know how much the back cut it. Okay, so now I need to cut along that line and scribe that profile. So a straight cut, use a saw designed to cut straight. But I've got to cut it right back at that angle. Yeah, you'll have to excuse the traffic noise. I live on the main road. Okay, so now I switch to a coping saw to cut out the profile. Okay, so I'm going to start off by cutting that angle off. And then I'll just follow the profile around. All the time I'm angling the saw back, so it's back cutting the timber. That way when you back cut it, it's only the very front edge that's going to touch the other piece of skating board. Okay, so I've scribed that now. And as you can see, I've cut it back a very long way. Just so it's only the very front edge that touches the other piece of skating board. And that's the same for the profile as well. Okay, so I've cut the scribe, back cut it. So let's see how we've done. That doesn't look too bad to me. So all I've got to do now is cut it to length and fix it back to the wall. And that is how you do an internal angle that's not 90 degrees. And that'll work for any angle other than 90 degrees internally. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.